running. I was running back to the tab. You may not, you may not believe this, but I can run like the wind blows. Not really. I'm going to scroll down and then note as of the cutoff date. Now, if I go to my liabilities, we can see that we still have as of the cutoff date. It's so nice that we can see it side by side like this. The cutoff date you'll recall is 228, February 28th, 13108. And then we reversed it, bringing us back to the total loan balance in one account so that the accounting department can then do their thing, recording the next transaction uh, to one account instead of having this crazy two account thing happening down here in the long term portion. We broke out the long term portion in accordance with our amortization schedule here and here or here, whichever way you want to look at it. And then we brought it back to zero because I don't want to have that other account involved per loan when I'm doing the day to day journal entry. That's what I'm talking about. So if I go back up, so that looks good. If I go into the transaction, it happened on three one. So there's our, our journal entry. And of course, if I go into the journal entry, we could see it in journal entry format. I'm going to copy it put it down here as well in the description. And so that looks good. No impact on the income statement for this particular adjusting entry. It's just two balance sheet accounts breaking up between the short term and long term portions. All right, so that's it. Let's let's open up some reports on the right hand side, right clicking to duplicate the tab. Let's look at the journal report this time because I don't think we did last time and we could see the adjusting and reversing entries scrolling down to the reports on the left hand side to do so. Closing up the boogie, typing into the reports, journal, the journal. And then I'm gonna do the adjusting entry which we did last time as of 0228230, 0228230, all adjusting entries as of the cutoff date 228. We wanna look at it, filter it by journals only customizing up top to do so we want to hit the filter drop down boom hit it and then we're going to say this is a journal run it and so there we have it so these first two were not adjusting entries we might show how to how to remove them we can export to excel and remove them if we're trying to give this to a client or something these are the adjusting entries as of 228 this is the one that we did last time and uh this is the uh, adjusting entry that we're going to reverse now so now we're going to reverse it so if i go back up top and go one day up boom boom run it so now we have reversed it and it's interesting because notice the debits and credits are like the thing that was kind of making me uh look at it a little funny is before like if i was to enter this with a journal entry I would have put the debit on top because <laughs> on the adjusting entry, but because we use the register, we just happened to they we happened to use it in QuickBooks put this one on top, so which was which was kind of making me. But remember the general idea; it doesn't matter. But that but the general idea is that when I then make the reversing entry, I would usually uh, reverse this the same format, meaning. I'm not going to change the order of, of the which is on top. I'm just going to change the debits and credits. It just kind of, I was going to mention that, but but then I noticed that it did the opposite with the original journal entry because of the use of the register. But in any case, interesting little thing there. At least I thought it was probably not that interesting in it, but anyways, there it is.